Hi guys, I am from ACM IIT Dhanbad and I will be discussing problem C from Code Forces Global Round 9. Uh, we are given an array A of length n which is the permutation for all the numbers from 1 to n. So what we, are, what we can do is we can choose our index and uh, we can see that if A of i is less than A of i plus 1, we can either remove A of i or A of i plus 1 from the array. Okay. So after applying uh, some operations, we, what we have to do is make the length of the array equal to 1. Okay. So we can, since it is a permutation, then we can say that all the numbers are actually pairwise distinct. Okay. If we are able to obtain uh, a single length array from this, we can print yes, otherwise no. Right. So jumping out to the uh, this thing discussion, we can select three numbers x, y, and z from left to right, right? And we can say that <coughs> what will happen is if my y is less than z, then I can perform the operation, right? Okay. But if my y is greater than z, what will happen is I can't perform the operation directly. So I have to search for a x which is less than z. So if there is my x which is less than, uh, sorry, uh, x which is less than z then I can perform the operation let's see how uh, take a case 1 3 sorry 1 2 4 3 right here you can see that <clears throat> for things like uh, for pairs like 2 and 4 this is the condition by this y is less than z so we can directly perform the operation but for pairs like 4 and 3, the condition is y is greater than z. So what we want is we have to find an x which is less than z. Okay. So suppose if 4 is greater than 3. <clears throat> so what we want is that there should be a number uh, to the left of uh, 4 which should be less than 3. Right. So I'll uh, here we have a 2 here. So what we'll do is we'll wisely replace it by 2 right okay now you have this condition the first condition your that your y is less than z right number to the left is num uh, less than number to the right so we can replace it by 3 and at last you have uh, again the similar type of condition so you can replace it by 3 again so okay uh, let's look at one more case And I'll just uh, make it 7. Oh, first, uh, do it with 2, then I'll make it 7. So, what is happening is uh, for this pair, I can make it to be 5. Again, for this pair, I'll make it 5. Now, you can see that this is uh, 4, 6, and 5. Uh, it falls under this type of condition. So, yeah, since 4 is less than 6, then I can make it 4. Sorry. <clears throat> and then again i can make it five right okay now you see that since two is less than five or basically at the last what we are doing doing is we are comparing the first number of the array and the last number of the array in this case two and five and in the previous case we were considering uh, one and three right so if this is possible at last we will be able to do it suppose if we have a seven here we have the same array I'll take the same thing and uh, I'll just put a 7 here what will happen is that <coughs> this will compress all to 5 again this I can compress to 5 as explained before again this I can compress to 5 but <coughs> uh, this was a maximum number that I could have taken but you see that since it is uh, 7 is greater than 5 I can't compress it more so what I can say is your right uh, sorry rightmost element should be greater than leftmost element right if this is the condition then we will be able to do it so I think you understood that and uh, here is the accepted code for this one I'm just comparing the first element with the last element if it is smaller then simply print yes so if you like the video then uh, do share and subscribe okay so thanks for watching